Univision. Uni- we have to go to a foreign entity to be able to get an interview that even asks a hard question of this president. We have to go to Univision. Here's just a little taste of what happened on Univision yesterday. They made him squirm. I confess I did not expect. And so I'm, I'm happy to uh, take responsibility for being naive here. It- I like that. Uh, yeah, He's dude. happy. Okay, they've asked him about yeah. immigration, and they yeah. said you failed. You know, you you, you, you said promise. you were going to do that, and you didn't keep your promise. Didn't keep your promise. So he he's going to take responsibility for being naive. Naive. Yeah, I love. He'll that. tell you he didn't I fail. I love that. He was just too naive, optimistic. I all. I just didn't realize I would be surrounded by evil people. So here that is again. Uh, question on immigration: You didn't keep your promise. But I confess I did not expect, and so I'm I'm happy to. Uh, take responsibility for being naive here is that Republicans who had previously supported comprehensive immigration reform, my opponent in 2008, who had been a champion of it. I'm happy to take responsibility for being naive, but it's the Republicans' fault. (laughs) (laughs) Is that not what he's saying? (laughs) And who attended these meetings suddenly would walk away. Mm. That's what I did not anticipate. And as you know, Jorge, uh, even though we controlled the House of Representatives, uh-huh. and even though uh, we had a majority in the Senate. Uh-huh. The way right. the Senate operates was if you couldn't yes. get 60 votes, you couldn't get something moving. So right. we initiated the meetings, had a uh-huh. series of meetings. Uh-huh. And what we could not get was a single Republican, including the 20 who had previously voted mm. for comprehensive immigration reform, just to second. step up Hold and say we will work with... Didn't, didn't they have 60 in the Senate? Didn't they have 60 in the Senate? Yeah, they I didn't mean, that's how they, of these. they didn't need mm-hmm. any single Republican. They didn't need it. So even if for two years, yeah, for even though we didn't con- we we didn't need a single Republican to get anything done, even though we had complete power of the of the entire federal government, it's the Republicans' fault. Mm-hmm. They, they were mm-hmm. obstructionists. But look, I'm happy to take responsibility for being naive. Right. For believing I, too much in for people. Believe, I, let I, me tell you, I, just, I, I, I'm sorry. I, you know, I didn't think we'd have to shoot people to be able to just completely take control. But apparently I was naive. Mm, I was yeah. too optimistic. We're going to have to have firing squads. I take responsibility for not understanding how evil Republicans <laughs> really are. You to make this happen. Not only... Was it fairly recently that we had some Republican support? Mm -hmm. But even now you have voices like the former governor uh, uh, of Uh, of Florida, uh, Jeb Bush, who has said that uh, the Republican Party has taken an extreme view, a wrong approach when Mm. it comes to immigration reform. So so my hope is is that uh, after the election, when the number one goal is no longer beating me, uh, Uh. but hopefully the number one goal is solving the country's problems, if they have seen that... uh, People who care about this issue have turned out in, in in strong numbers that they will rethink it. If so, in other words, I can't, I can't take this. Uh, so, in other words, um, if Hispanics will just punish their enemies, that's what he's saying now, mm-hmm. just in a different way. Right? He said it in those exact words last time. This yeah. time, he's saying it in a different way. Yeah. Do you have that audio? Because that's amazing mm-hmm. audio. If if the if the Hispanics will just come out and punish their enemies, the Republicans, everything will be all right. But they're going to be paying attention to this election. And mm-hmm. if Latinos sit out the Latinos. election, instead of saying we're going to punish our enemies and we're going to reward our friends who stand with us on issues that are mm-hmm. important to us, if they don't see that kind of upsurge in mm-hmm. voting in this election, then I think it's going to be harder. And that's why I think it's so important that people focus on voting on November 2nd. Okay, so let me just get this right, because maybe, and I, and I take responsibility for being naive here, but <laughs> I thought the president, when he said that just a minute ago on Univision, that uh, that would, might be the first time that he would use that trick of saying, hey, if, if they see you come out in record numbers, then we'll be able to get that passed. But apparently, he said that two years ago, exactly the same thing a little stronger at the time that they were your enemies. And so you had to come out and vote, you know, be, and punish your enemies. And when they, when you do that, 
then I'm going to be able to get the job done. I take full and complete responsibility for being so naive (laughs) to think that the President of the United States wouldn't use every possible lie and tool and division that he could finally you just pile up on the uh, the table. I I take responsibility for thinking that he wouldn't do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's that's really good of you to to take that kind of responsibility, Glenn. It's, it takes a strong man. Thank you. I it know, takes a strong man to to admit when he's been naive no, it's... and when he's believed too strongly in people. I, that takes thank you. yeah. That takes real depth of character. Well, and then to go a step further, Pat. I mean, it takes a real man <laughs> to admit that you've been naive and that it's someone else's fault. I mean, because right. it's so hard to admit right. when someone Look, else has wronged it. you in that it, way. It is. Can I tell you something? Mm-hmm. I can't help um, the fact that other people are evil. And no, I, can't. I can't. always mm-hmm. want to believe, for instance, mm-hmm. I take full responsibility mm-hmm. for being so naive um, to believe that the people in Tennessee wouldn't make such an evil product like Jack Daniels mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. I would eventually stumble across and of no fault of my own. No, no, um, no. Don't you dare take responsibility thank you. for that. Mm. Thank you. Don't you dare. Uh, lead me down the path. You were simply people. naive. I was naive that the mm-hmm. people, I didn't know. Is it know. Tennessee or is it Kentucky? No, it's Tennessee. Oh, it is? I For, to, for mm. me to believe that the people of Tennessee <laughs> I, wouldn't lead me down the path of alcoholism. Yeah. I was just naive. And I take responsibility. For not seeing that about the for people of Kentucky. For not seeing how bad they are? Yeah. For yeah. not seeing the I evil I wanted that to dwells. see the goodness mm-hmm. of the people of uh, Tennessee. And and you thought you thought that alcohol would be good for you, didn't I you? I did. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, look but at it. Wasn't. I mean, look at the label. It looks good. It, yeah. it, it smells good. Mm-hmm. It's, we should probably stop dwelling on this because <laughs> I'm feeling the people of Tennessee call my name. Mm-hmm. The taste buds are activating a little? Yes. Yeah. And I'm being... I'm being Led down a path that I shouldn't go down, mm-hmm. uh, but I believe in you, Tennessee, and I think you can. I think you can turn from your evil ways if you could just get a little more flexibility. If you could just get let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. If the people of Kentucky, mm-hmm. who have who make something called Maker's Mark, mm-hmm. if they would just rise up. And send a very clear message to their enemies in Tennessee that are making Jack Daniels. Mm -hmm. I think after this next election, we could see some really exciting stuff. But only if the people of Kentucky (laughs) recognize who the evil people of Tennessee really are. What kind of exciting could we see you drinking Maker's Mark? Is that what we could see? We could see that. After the next election? We could see that. that, I'm not sure that would be exciting so much. Oh, you're telling me we didn't have the highest ratings ever? (laughs) (laughs) For a show or two, yeah. Oh, yeah. For a very short period of time, we would have very high ratings. Uh huh. Very high ratings. And let me me tell you something else I've been wanting to say. (laughs) Ha, 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 ha.